Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And where we are is we're in Kilkeel, and we're actually outside the Rivers House, which is the uh, Schomburg Ulster Scots Centre, as you can see. And it also says there the Schomburg Society. And of course, there's a wee museum in there. And where we are actually is we're outside the old church here at Kilkeel, as you can see. Now, unfortunately, we can't get in because uh, the building actually, you get the key from the building in there for the graveyard and it closes at three. And so I wasn't here until later. But uh, there's a wee board here and it's the Ulster Scots or the Kingdom of Morn. And I'll read a wee bit, I don't, I'll not read it all to you. But it says here, Kilkeel, once known as Kilkeel, I think that is. Kilkeel, meaning Church of the Narrows, takes its name from the old church that overlooks the town, which is this church here. And then it says, the building, the building which dates back to the 14th century, 1300s, and predates the Reformation, was the principal church in the area, having a measure of authority and a group of local churches. The arrival of Scottish settlers to the Kingdom of Morn at the time of the plantation of Ulster and during the course of the 17th century brought many changes to the area, including for a time the name of the town itself. And it says, Kilkeel was recorded in various maps and documents. Uh, as Kill, and I can't make the rest of that out, but it's a Scotch word for church, which is Kirk, uh, a term which is still used today in the Presbyterian Church. And it says the legacy of this name st still lives on today through the local Kilkeel Scottish Highland, Highland, Highland Dance Group, Kirk Nara, I think that is, School of Dance, housed in Rivers House, which is behind me, of course. And uh, it says there are the Scots changing the landscape and it says there by the end of the 17th century the Kingdom of Morn had seen many waves of Scottish settlers whose arrival made a huge impact on the local area and you can pause the video there if you want to read the rest of that but I'm going to read the bottom part which says these new arrivals also brought with them their Presbyterianism and by 1720 three Presbyterian meeting houses had been built in Morn and I'll try and pronounce these Bally Mac I'm not sure Derry Oog and Bally Martin, which all amalgamated to form Morn Presbyterian Church, which is now one of the largest congregations in Ireland. And if you want to read that, then you can pause the video. So this is how you get in, but you have to get the key from the Revere House. And I say, as I say, they're closed, unfortunately. So, uh, but what I can do is I can zoom up and let you see the church. So that's the 1300s, that church. That's where it dates from, isn't that fantastic? Absolutely brilliant. And then you have the graveyard as well. And it's great that the grass is cut because it makes it easier to see. So it does. So there you go. That's an old church in Kilkeel here from the 1300s. Amazing. Thanks for watching and God bless.